Good morning, people. Well, check that out. 99996. Wait, I missed a nine. 10,000 amp hours. How cool is that? Still got over 47.84 volt. What, eight, six volts? And drawn 190 amp hours from the batteries. This is our, this is the lowest the battery's ever been in 48 volt. We've had three days of rain, um, and we're, we're, well, we're coming up to the third day of rain. So I don't think these batteries are going to make it much longer. Um, I've changed, it was 48 volt, I had it at cutoff, I've changed it to 44 volts, just so I can see whether my whole 20 amp hour thing is true or not. Time will tell. Let's come back to this in a few hours and see what we've come up with. Well guys, I've come down to the, the battery shed here. As you can see from the, we're pretty much at the bottom of the bank. I've never been down this low with the, the battery bank before. So I thought I'd come down and do a voltage check on all the cells now. Um, it's a little bit hard to actually catch this on, on, on video. So I'm just gonna take some stills, but um, I've got this one set up here on this pack here, which was never known to be a bad pack. Let's have a look at the voltage, shall we? Oh dear. So it's time to disconnect the batteries and I think we're gonna to have to replace that cell. But what I'm gonna do is I'll, I'll read out all the voltages of all the cells. So you got a rough idea on the bottom. So it's, uh, the current voltage is 50 volts, but that's sort of come up because it's been off for about an hour now and it's been recharging off the solar panels. So we'll select range. All right. I'm gonna go from up here. So I'll go all the way along that 48 volt pack and then all the way along that 48 volt pack. And I'll read out the values as I go. So 3 3.7, 3.74, 3.63, 3.66, 3.59, 3.66. It's a little bit hard in here. 3.58, 3.66, 3.66. Now this is the bad cell that was one volt and it is now 2.8 volts, 3 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6,
and it's going to fit our purpose as well. And we've got a uh, we've got a few other made packs, so this isn't going to be so much of a problem. Um, I would have liked to have a pack with bus bars already on it and stuff like that, but I've been messing around trying other things and helping other people out. So let's do this. Let's get this battery bank back online again. Of course, we're going to have to balance this battery when we put it in, so it's going to take a little bit of time. But, you know, you, 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 you can't get away from that, can you? It's just part of the whole process that I signed up for. Let's start with the battery voltage again. And we've got 2.86 volts. So let's write that down somewhere so we know for future. So an average of... 2.86 volts. Now that'll be good because then we can go through and test. Once we take the bus bars off, we can test every single cell. Let's have a look for broken fuses. Broken fuses doesn't take long either. I just use a pen or something sharp just to get underneath the fuse and try and lift it. Oh. Okay, so we've got one broken fuse, but it's not burnt. There's no discoloration. It looks like it's broken. I noticed with a lot of the other ones that actually burnt up, it actually it left a gap in the fuse wire itself. This one just looks like it's um, just plain broken. Probably me carrying it back up here. Or um, perhaps when I put the... the, the the, the multimeter tool underneath it to lift it up, I might have snapped it off. But we should be able to test whether it's faulty or not by simply doing a voltage check. And the voltage is 3.04 volts. So that cell's not faulty, it's just been knocked or bumped due to poor handling. Okay, let's turn the soldering iron on. You got a better idea? Let's use a new soldering iron. I'm going to walk around that side so I can show you this. I've gone through, this is my fourth soldering iron. I've blown one of them up. I've blown one of these up, but I think it's just because I left it on for like 12 hours solid for an entire week. Uh, when I was sort of, I was doing five minutes work and then five minutes computer work and backwards and forwards. So we've got a new soldering iron and an old soldering iron. Should we compare the tips? And one of the reasons why I keep buying new soldering iron is not because the soldering iron I need to replace, it's because it's actually cheaper to buy a soldering iron than it is to buy the tips. So, there you go, there's a comparison on the tips. And this one is actually pulled out a little bit so I can use it a little bit more. So it's not quite, <laughs> yeah, they, they get chewed up pretty good. That's never gonna focus. Focus, you fuck. There you go. Show them the pixies, as AVE says. Anyways, let's do this. I, it's ridiculous that I think this is fun, but I'll, this is this is the probably the, the the biggest comment that I get is, how do I deal with it when something breaks? And well, I signed up for this. I knew what I was getting into. I wasn't stupid. I'm 42 years old for freak's sake. Uh, I, I know I know there's going to be problems. You don't use anything secondhand. You can't go to the wreckers and put a new motor in your car and not be not have problems unless you're lucky, I guess. So this is what I signed up for. So let's make it into a video and make it something fun. I should turn the soldering iron on first. Soldering iron holdery thingy. There it is. Oh yeah. Cool tip. When you're using uh, what are they? 40 watt. 40 watt soldering irons. I use one of these devices. It's like a cast steel or something. It's a, it's a metal. It's it's hard. Um, but what I do is I put a bit of metal tape. This is actually a big hole here. So you put the the soldering iron in here, and all the heat just comes out here. 
So what I do is I put a bit of tape over the top and it holds the heat in and this whole thing warms up, which means that when I replace the soldering iron in there, and it's absolutely chock a block full of old solder, um, when I put the old when I put the soldering iron back in there again, the whole thing's warmer and it recovers much faster. So there's a little tech tip from Pete. Right, soldering iron. And of course, preparation is nine tenths of any YouTube video. So I should remove anything flammable. Now I'm not actually going to be using this pack again, so I'm going to desolder everything so I preserve the um, the connections and it makes it much quicker on the new pack. I don't like this about new soldering irons. They um, the cables aren't bendy enough, even after they've been used for a little while. They've still got these twisty cables. I'd like a I don't know, like these things, like they they don't twist up. I think they're called silicon, silicon cables or something. That'd be nice. I guess that comes on, you know, anything other than a $23 soldering iron. Okay, so that's the old, that's the new. I have to tin this up. I probably should. Make sure that's all tacked down nice and tight. Okay, so while the soldering iron's heating up, let's make sure that we don't have any completely dead batteries. Okay, so we've got no reverse polarity. That's all in the right way. Just have to tin this up. Solder. Okay, so I just popped back down to the battery shed, answered some old questions on the interwebs, and if you if you want some more for updates, I know a lot of you are keen for more updates. I just simply can't afford to spend this much time during the weekday when I'm supposed to be working to do updates. But I do do snippets and stuff constantly on Facebook. Um, I got Twitter and all the rest and Beam. Whatever happened to Beam? But if you want more updates, add me on Facebook, HP Powerwall. Okay, let's get this tinned. Is tin the right word? Who knows? Cue the music. Hmm, solder fumes. Maybe I should put my vent on. I think it's a good idea. Rightio. There is nothing like preparation to make a good YouTube video seem consistent and easy watching. Right, let's try this again with this shiny thing in our way. Okay, gotta take these bus bars off, gonna take the negative, I've already done the positive. Tried to do a live feed of it, but it doesn't really work so well. This is definitely the long way of doing this.
Okay, tubers, it's as noisy as all get out because we've got a school fate happening across the road, so I'll try and make this quick. So we've got the old one that we pulled out. Um, that is going to go in the recycle bin. I'll reuse some bits of it, but I'm not gonna reuse all of it. Um, I haven't had a chance to balance that pack properly. It's about an eighth of a volt higher, so I've just got a fan on that one there, and I'll just manually balance it. Um, it's all back in, it's all back up and running again. It ended up taking me about two and a half hours, including playing Lego movie game with my four-year-old son, so that sucked up a bit of time. But it's all up. It gave me a chance to go through this entire pack, check for broken fuses. There was two other broken fuses. Again, it's only ever on this side, so I'm assuming that it's because I'm knocking it, because the battery voltages and everything are really good. Um, I've also had a chance to go through and put all the the um the heat shrink on the on the bottom mounts and stuff so i'm really really happy it was a lot of extra work but it's done now and hopefully we'll have some better uh capacity from the batteries so we've had no charging today because the sun well very little anyway because it's still really cloudy there's a few bits of blue but anyway tubers that's been a long one. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'll probably see you next weekend when I do something else. <laughs> Take it easy, guys. I'll see you later.